Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so one of the more discussed items over the weekend was Adam Scott's new driver. Kind of can't believe that he was using that autoflex. I think there's a lot of people uh, <laughs> yeah. on, on social media were, were certainly shocked that he'd put that in play. Still in shock. We were two of the people who were very shocked that he put that in play. Correct. Um, and then we all sat back and, and just watched and, and saw how it unfolded. His position in the tournament improved, you know, every day he just got a little bit stronger. Got himself in a really good position, was tied for the lead midway through Saturday. Yes, he was. Um, fell away a little bit on the back nine. There were flashes of good driving. Definitely. Really good driving. And then there was flashes of very erratic driving. Kind of high right misses it looked like. Yeah, so I think initially on the Saturday he had a couple go left. Then in the back nine, he kind of went a little left and right, started second guessing the face a little bit. Yep. I would be very curious to see how his uh, warm up went on Sunday, because I would imagine he probably hit a few quackers left and then and proceeded to miss it a long way right most of the For safety, uh, yeah. this, this Sunday. So <clears throat> he obviously didn't quite have the balance down yet. He is one of those players, though, Matty, that has come out and said there might only be eight tournaments a year that matter to him. That's true, yeah. I'm not sure if he, uh, if he was overly concerned mm. that that experiment went that way because he put himself in a position he just didn't quite It's true, he was, he was experimenting and you're not wrong. The Sanderson Farms Championship, no offense to them, is not no Adam Scott's, you know, he's not losing sleep over it. So yeah. he used it as, as a, a practice experiment tournament. Mm -hmm. As you said, partly went well. I think he lost the field ahead at some point. The, 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 the word from Demina from day one has always been that there is a, a very specific headweight or range, a headweight range that they want you to play when it comes to Autoflex. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very soft by design. He was playing the SF505 XX, okay. uh, which is still very soft. Very I mean, that's soft the and one. light too. Very, very soft and light. 57 grams. X is no representation <laughs> of anyone else's X by any means. It's not, it's not even close. Might be in the realms of a soft stiff, something in, the, at in, the, in that at the most. Yeah. So, I think the, the idea is that the headweight that he was using was probably not quite appropriate for that shaft to play at his optimal performance. Yeah. Stripping a little bit of that weight away mm. is what's going to really help with that. So, we're going to dive into that a little bit today, guys. There's some of you who are now Autoflex owners or some of you who are curious about Autoflex. And hopefully this video will give you an idea um, about different ways in which that, perform, that shaft can perform best or even just introduce you to different ideas that any driver can be set up a certain way, but just understanding the role of each component and how that can either make or break the performance of the club. Mm, absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna get some baseliners. We know this is the most consistent driver you've ever played. Yes. Uh, Paul Casey's very own winning <laughs> TSI3, so That's right. phenomenal. So let's get some baseline numbers. Okay. For, for the lack of a TSI-4, which yes. is currently rocking. I would probably miss the ball anyway. Yeah, it would not, not, wouldn't be <laughs> ideal. So we went with, uh, with a driver that we have some phenomenal custom weights with. Yeah. Uh, we have the standard 12, we have the 20, we have the, the 8. So we're going to play around with this. This is currently a, a heavier head weight, so we want to kind of try and establish that performance of how we can maybe be compromising a shaft by putting a head that's too... Um, too heavy. And to be kind of simple and clear with everyone, this is what Autoflex manufacturer does not recommend. This is, this is, yeah. It's a heavier exactly. head weight that someone like a tour player would, would go with. They would go with the D4 maybe yep. plus. Um, and Dumina is basically saying no. Yep. So maybe this is close to what Adam had in his bag. It wasn't D1, that's for sure. No. And now we'll find out why that probably didn't work. Yeah.
tell you what, it doesn't feel terrible. However, I can feel the shaft bending aggressively <laughs> yep. with the heavy head. Finding that toe a little bit, pushing that face. I mean, we talked about it in the Q&A live earlier on. Um, longer will generally oh, push the face more out to the, the push side, the, the fade side. So I always expect a more of a left start line when we use Autoflex anyway. Definitely. Not that much. Oh, it's coming back. <laughs> coming back. You better hit that swooping draw. Okay. Strike point's an issue. So that, that shaft is, is in deflection and the length is playing a part to kind of have that face open and just late. The only thing bringing this ball back right now is, the is, the, is the toe strike. So if I was hitting in the middle like someone like Adam Scott would, because he's good at yeah. golf, he would just be hitting it dead blocks. And that to me is exactly what was going on. I will try to hit this in the middle of the face. <laughs> but I won't adjust anything else. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a centered hit, but I feel the face hanging, as you said, and it's just easy to hit a bit of a block. So right now we're seeing some upside in the speed. Um, obviously we're not taking advantage of it with the strike living out on the toe like that, so. See that dynamic lie? <laughs> Two full degrees. Yeah. Crazy. Massive downward, downward deflection. Does that explain some of the left start line also? You're toe striking it, you're flat. Yeah. So it's, a, it's just a flat draw bomb <laughs> hitter. Definitely. Unless you configured it somehow. He was trying to hit draws, though, for the most part, anyway. He had that part of it right. He looked to me, I mean, I, I obviously, I didn't see, they were, he wasn't in the coverage an awful lot, but I thought he looked like his good ones were very straight. Because this was not a shaft I would try to hit a fade with, or yeah. even straight. If you don't hit a bit of a push draw with this, mm -hmm. it's rough. Yeah. I think you'd be fighting it all day. Obviously, we over-exaggerated the heavy part. Yeah. Not something that you would really, you would really expect, because there is a point where you know, mass, you're going to struggle to shift the mass. Mm -hmm. uh, so the length is going to offer you something of, of leverage. It clearly did. But with this one, I fully expect you to probably gain another couple of miles an hour and, and start to get your numbers shifting in the right direction. And, and this, this should start hmm. to be towards what I think could really make it very useful to use gotcha. Autoflex. You've found a nice groove of this thing now. Yeah, this is starting to be a lot more comfortable. It's not curving as much now. Get used to the strike point being a little bit less in the toe. You're killing this thing. I like this a lot. Oh. These are big bombs. So validated for sure that you, to unlock mm. the, the benefits of Autoflex, Lighter headway is, is the answer. So a five, five mile an hour gain, a little over five mile an hour gain. You're kind of offsetting the, the loss of efficiency. Um, yeah. you know, you've, you've got you know, a bump in ball speed, the launch is up, the spin is down. But it's 23, now we're actually starting to talk about proper advantages, because that's the tour flight is that one, the top one with the TSI. It's a bit lower launch, bit more spin, obviously lower speed. You're hitting yep. at 317, you'd probably be what? 40th in driving distance. Yep. You wouldn't be upset. No. But if you hit it 340, you're probably in the top 10. Now we're in the strokes gain conversation, whereas I don't think at D9, wouldn't have been gaining anything. Moving that strike in really was the key and getting the balance of the club right was obviously the important bit I to love that. that. So let's, let's, let's give you maybe a more traditional alternative. That's went forever. Big hop. Don't hit the green. Oh, get the soft bounce. 
criminal bounce that is. I honestly don't even care how far it's going. I'm hitting it as straight as my own. <laughs> Never mind the distance. Jump! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Get over there. Jeez Louise. It's just got some legs, doesn't it? Swung a bit harder there. Because you knew you could. It's not going because offline. I knew you could. I know. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It's it's very very stable. I didn't strike it well, but I I don't know. It's not gonna do anything different than the last ball, apparently. Oh. So what a I bounce! I love that bounce. Have I, I literally could not have been a, a <laughs> millimeter closer to the green. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a great driver. The auto flex in its heaviest form was wasn't working with wasn't working for you. No. We obviously knew that your gamer is, is such a good flight. I think what we're looking at here really is though, someone like Adam, who's trying to make a gain, obviously from a distance perspective, but keep the dispersion right where it is. Th this off. is where I'd be kind of looking from to, to do some work like this. I think this is the strokes gained. You, he's looking at it. It's 21, I, I so. 21 extra yards. The dispersion, I, I understand the circles look the way they look. I would say the dispersion is pretty damn close to as good as mine. Mm -hmm. It's not as straight as my own driver, but it's pretty damn close. Yeah, I mean, we had one that went 18, 18 yards, which by the way, would still be in the fairway. If we take that one out, basically they're identical. Oh, okay. So if you were to, uh, we took one out with my driver too. So one drive uh, out with both, yep. and you're right, they have the same dispersion. Almost identical. <laughs> so that's, that's the gain, the, the 20 yard pickup, for no extra dispersion, you've actually improved your launch characteristics. You've picked up a boatload of, uh, of, of ball speed. So again, if we're going to focus on, on Adam, some messaging yeah. for Adam, yeah. TSI 3, 8 degree, something where he has the CG shifter, where he can go a little bit longer. I mean, yeah. if he's looking for a bomber driver, I think he might find it in a slightly friendlier, higher MOI head Agree. with a little bit of movable weight where he can go longer but he doesn't have to sacrifice the dispersion which he did at the weekend. Totally agree. I, th I don't think TSI4, we haven't tested it yet, but mm -hmm. let's be honest, we saw TS4. Yeah. That was about as unforgiving a driver as there is. Uh, yeah, and I, mean, I don't, that's it. I don't enjoy any driver, autoflex uh, mm -hmm. um, shaft, sorry, any driver shaft long if the head isn't forgiving. Yeah. So this driver head is really forgiving. It's really forgiving. Plus the weight's been great. Absolutely. I think it's a great choice. Yeah. And there's tons that are a good choice, but TS4, no. why would you, right? No. Well, that's, there's some gains to be had there. I think, uh, I mean, wow. I think that's something for, for you even to think about, it you is. know, in terms of like, could you play longer? Yes, you could with a certain head. Do we build you one and put it in your tight list? We know how good that is for you. There's, this is the this is the best long driver you've made. Yeah. Because do you mind putting Autoflex the 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 better version up? So your final version in D1 was very good. It was very good. And a couple times I've said to you in these videos, I've been like, you've made a really good like scramble driver for me. I might yeah. use that. Now you've made, to be honest, a way better scramble yeah. driver because it is the same amount of yardage. Obviously, maybe a couple yards shorter. Mm -hmm. Dispersion's night and day. Okay, guys. Um, I think the Autoflex. Uh, conversation is a great one because people are curious as to what's going on. There's length, there's, there's a whippier shaft, there's the, the head weight component. And all those factors we have to think dynamically, the implications of playing a shaft like that with specific heads at specific lengths. We have to explain the full story for you guys to understand the benefits and the trade-offs. I hope this is what this video has done, is try to explain some of those trade-offs. The only thing I wanted to finish with is when it comes to Autoflex, I wouldn't want anyone to watch this and go, Autoflex is not as good as a long Ventus Blue. Yes. That's not what this video is. Definitely not. Definitely the video not. was, can you create something for someone with my type of swing yeah. that's still got the club head speed and the distance, but it's accurate. You definitely achieve that. But to say that Autoflex would be worse for everyone in this configuration, there's no way. I think there's tons of people who would have had, to be honest, a tough time with this. And the Autoflex would have felt way easier to swing. Probably would have squared it up well, and, and for my swing this was better, but for someone else's swing, I still think Autoflex is good. 100%? No doubt. Because there is no Ventus Blue 5X, no. or you know, anything. You, you can tip no. a 5S potentially. It's not um, the same though, right? But yeah. it's not the same balance point thing, you know. It's just a different, different entity. 
we were specifically addressing, like you said, Matty, your swing, your swing speed, yeah. and ultimately discussing the Adam Scott conversation. This honestly, I know he's not going to play Cal, <laughs> but as you said, Ventus Blue 6X, 46 inches yeah. for Adam, TSI 3, TSI bit of toe 3. weight. I'd love to see him try that I for the next it. tournament. I know, yeah. it'd be great. Get it out there. <laughs> okay, Adam, if you're watching, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, guys, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.